Welcome to Beards, Biceps, Beliefs, and Sometimes Bourbon. Where you will hear all about how to remove the roadblocks in your life so you can achieve the success you want in your career, business, fitness, and relationships. And also, my favorite bourbon tastings. Welcome to another episode of Beards, Biceps, Beliefs, and Bourbon. My name's Scott Romine. Um, so some thoughts of mine for 2022 is, you know, setting goals. It's January. What are we trying to accomplish this year? So my coach asked me, what am I passionate about? My answer, easy, helping people. I love to help people. All right. So my goal for 2022 is to help more people. Yes, I have a coach. I'm in a mastermind group. I have a mentor. Um, we all need help, all right, including myself. The more successful we are, the more we need people in our lives to help us, right? That's why I need a coach to keep me on the right path. So how can I help more people? Well, it's one of the reasons I do this podcast is to help three people through my coaching medium, my Beards, Biceps, Beliefs, and Bourbon. So what is Beards, Biceps, Beliefs, and Bourbon? Right? Yes, I drink, I have a beard, I have biceps, and I have some beliefs. Okay, but it is a mindset coaching business. So one of the first questions I ask people is, what do you want out of life? I mean, really want. Write these things down that come to mind. Nothing is too big. The bigger, the better. All right? Think big, not like a big screen TV. That's an easy one to accomplish. Okay? Um but write them down. I'll help you filter these down to two, one or two things that that are most important to you. This is your purpose or your why. Why do you do things? Why do you get up every morning? Um, What do you want to accomplish? So what's holding you back from achieving these? Time, money, knowledge, the right mindset, or the right people in your life to help support you or some big ones. These are some of the roadblocks that are limiting you in your success and what you want out of life. I'm here to help you remove them. New ones will come up and that's okay. All right. Uh, They always do. But each time you'll learn a new set of skills to help you overcome them the next time that they do come up. By repeating this process, you get faster, more knowledgeable, and more confident to handle bigger and better things, whatever the hell you want to accomplish, right? Things will change as you get better and grow. You'll want more things. Not just things, but to grow. Businesses, people, you name it. It's out there, all right? So the question is, what are you doing to take care of yourself? What's that even mean? Here are some things um, to think about. Do you get enough sleep? Do you drink enough water? Do you eat enough? to help fuel your body or the right things to do that, right? We need food for energy. Do you exercise in some form or fashion? Do you work on your mindset, having the right thoughts? Do you know how to manage your stress? All of these can be limiting roadblocks to yourself. Do you have gratitude and grace for yourself? Do you manage your alcohol intake? Okay, these are all some great questions and things you need to work on. You need to be the best you can be in these areas in order to function at a higher level and to do epic things, okay? Okay, are you holding yourself back in any of these areas? It's okay, most people are, but let's work on that together. How do you feed yourself is a big one. Your mindset, okay? Uh, Read, it's the first one. Do you read things that you're interested in or want to learn about or get better at? Uh, Do you meditate? Meditate can mean a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I use a candle. It's called flame flame meditation. I like candles. Just bought myself a new one here. Um, And I sit and watch the candle for two minutes. 
Start small and grow, okay? Breathing exercises. If you've heard my podcast before, I do box breathing. All right, five seconds in, five seconds hold, five seconds out, five seconds hold out. Repeat five times. Positive affirmations. I watch a couple little videos that I've saved from social media or wherever I found them that are motivating for me. That's what works for me. Everyone's different and it's okay. There is no wrong or right. You can look in the mirror, you can say positive affirmations. Um, there's lots of different options, okay? Uh, podcasts, do you listen to podcasts? I walk my dog every day, go for a ruck and I was listening to crypto, now I'm listening to Airbnb. What do I want to get more knowledgeable about um, and use my time effectively? So that's a great place to start with podcasts. Writing, I'm writing a book. You can journal, you can just write some thoughts that you have throughout the day, something that allows you to get it out of your mind and you can go back and look at it. All good examples of how to feed yourself. Um, how do you, next topic, how do you spend time to with, who do you spend time with to grow yourself? Okay, so first we had things to feed yourself. Who do you spend time around to grow yourself? Friends. So are you the most successful in your friend group? You might need new friends, okay? You need to be leveling up. You want to be lower in the friend group and then they'll bring you up, all right? Doesn't mean you can't have those friends, just different amounts of time you'll spend with them. Are they feeding you? Family. A lot of times family's stress. Sometimes family's good, sometimes family's not. It can be very stressful. So if it's stressful, limit your time. Spend time with family members who you enjoy and you help you. Do you have a coach for a sport or fitness or life? You need someone to help you and guide you and push you and motivate you. A mastermind group. It's like-minded individuals who lift you up, support you, and challenge you to do better. Okay, um, Your significant other. Are they on the same page as you? Or are they completely opposite and you're growing separate? Should be on the same page driving forward. If not, have a talk. All right, communication is key. Yourself, right? Do you spend time alone and in your thoughts? Are you just quiet? Do you have a flow state that helps you? I like to do like painting, not artist painting, but painting a wall or doing something that doesn't require a lot of my... Um, brain power so that I can think, all right? Keeps my hands busy, my mind can wander. Um, so, who do you spend your time with, all right? Very important. I know this can all seem a little overwhelming and I don't expect you to start with all of those all at once. I'm gonna pick a couple to start with and I'll help you narrow those down and to get started on, okay? It just depends where you're at. I'll meet you there and help you grow. It's going to be challenging. I promise you that. And it's going to be uncomfortable. If you're not uncomfortable, you're not growing. Say that again. If you're not uncomfortable, you're not growing. At some point, you have to stop taking the easy way and staying in comfort. Nothing is learned from easy. Almost everything we have learned is from getting uncomfortable or failures. We don't forget that shit, okay? Um, it was uncomfortable. So... Are you ready for a change? Are you ready to stop talking about it and do some work? Okay, it's time to take action. I hope that episode was helpful. Now we move on to our uh, World of Whiskey book and then our bourbon tasting today. So last time we talked about the different types of whiskey. Um, so we're gonna go individually now and today we'll talk about malt. It's made solely from malted barley in copper pot stills. This is the original whiskey of Scottish Highlands. It has also been made in Japan since 1920, is now made in Canada, parts of Asia, and in small amounts in almost every European country. Single malt is the product of an individual distillery. In Scotland, it must be matured for a minimum of three years. They gave an example here of an 18 year and it's I'm going to butcher this to, to hell. Bunna Habheim. So someone will correct me on that. Um, it's 18 year uh, 
single malt scotch whiskey. All right, so there we go, malt. Cool. Our bourbon tasting today is probably my go-to of any time is Pendleton. I had 12-year Pendleton on here before. This is just your regular Pendleton. It's a little cheaper, probably like $24, $25 range. Um, but it is very smooth, very easy to drink. Um, not super high proof, 80 proof, 40% alcohol by volume. So we'll gladly have a little taste of this today. Pendleton. It's a Canadian whiskey. Um, maybe why I like it as well, but I'm not biased. Cheers. I give Pendleton a nine. All right, and again, I, I might be a little biased, but Pendleton, it's my drink of choice. So I hope that episode was helpful. Tune in next time, and thanks for listening. Cheers. Thanks for listening to the show. Make sure you subscribe, leave a review, share with a friend. If there's anything I could do to help, please reach out. We will see you on the next episode of Beards, Biceps, Belize, and Sometimes Bourbon.